wares today. They're a French puff, almost like a pastry, but these are savory. In my pot, I have a cup of water and one stick of butter, half a cup of butter, and I'm bringing that to a boil, which is almost there. I have one and a half cups of Gruyere cheese, which is a Swiss cheese, three tablespoons of grated Parmesan, I have a pinch of uh, pepper, a pinch of nutmeg, a cup of flour, and four whole eggs. And that completes the recipe. My oven is on at 375. Now, this has come to a boil. I'm taking it off the heat, adding all the flour, the nutmeg, and the pepper. And with a wooden spoon, which is the best tool for this, part of it, this part of it anyway, and I'm going to mix this together. It looks real gloppy right now. That's a good thing. Okay, until you can't see the flour anymore, back on the heat. And you just keep mixing it now, don't stop, until it all comes together in a mass and it leaves the sides and the bottom of the pan, no film. And that's where we are. So right now, I'm going to switch from that and use my mixer. I'm starting to add the eggs. curdling and falling apart. I'm losing a lot of it. But you just keep mixing it until it becomes nice and stiff. This is nothing more than a pot of choux recipe that has savory ingredients added to it. And that's the way it should look, like a paste, pot of choux, which means um, cabbage dough. <laughs> Horrible name for it. Anyway, okay. Now, I'm going to, two sheets here with parchment paper. And I have a pastry bag with a tip, a plain round tip. And I'm going to fill this up. And these are going to go in the oven and they're going to bake for about 25 to 30 minutes until they're nice and puffed up and brown. And these would make um, a really good addition um, as an hors d'oeuvre at a cocktail party. They're best when they are served warm, but they can also cool to room temperature. I would not serve these. I would not put these in the refrigerator. Okay. There we go. Shake it down. And now we're going to start piping them. Uh, about the size of a cherry tomato. When I finish piping these, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some water on my finger and just tap down and get rid of those little, um, they look like witches hats, the little tips. That's just for aesthetics. You don't have to. You could leave it there if you want to, but they look better when they're nice and round. And I'm just going to keep piping until I use it all up. The oven 375 for about 25 to 30 minutes. Here are the gougeres out of the oven. They're all nice and puffy. I hope you try these. I'm going to let them cool off and then we're going to have them with a glass of wine.